hey guys a very good evening um, i'm making a video after a very long time i know that uh, so there were some commitments and some kind of changes uh, that i'm introducing so uh, just a transition phase um, anyway i'll try to make this video uh, short and crisp and it's it's a wonderful opportunity and uh, for someone who wants to have some kind of a research experience so who is pursuing their bachelor's or master's and uh, i think uh, you know you might have seen these uh, or you might have heard about this internship before as well in the sense that uh, like uh, on linkedin it's quite popular but uh, as you can see over here um, earlier there were two positions and now a third position has also been posted uh, day before yesterday or i think um, yesterday itself so it, it was i thought it's important that you keep following this uh, website okay i'll give you the link to this website this is uh, the website of isa mohali project positions and as you can see there are there have been three project positions that have been posted but these are summer internship or student internship uh, positions right so instead of having a summer internship program uh, as you can see that when the professors are applying for project uh, this is a wonderful initiative by so uh, which i'll talk about uh, you know sometime later uh, but uh, whenever they are applying for uh, you know a, a project you can see that uh, the serb is having this scientific social responsibility program wherein you know uh, they are trying to give uh, research exposure to students so um, you can keep following this website because i'm sure that more and more uh, you know uh, student internship opportunities will be posted over here um currently like i said there are three opportunities and i'll just talk about them in a bit of detail right so uh, so this is the first opportunity as you can see um applications are invited from eligible candidates for the position of student internship um, in rational design of charge transfer mediated plastic ferro ferro ferroelectric polymers okay so some of you might not understand what this project is about but don't be intimidated intimidated right because uh, i mean when when you are starting off with research it might feel so and you are just a beginner so don't get intimidated by the uh, you know by the topic and what exactly it is just have some confidence and faith in yourself and apply for these positions so for this position you need a masters uh, in chemistry you should be pursuing okay uh, you should be pursuing a masters in chemistry and you will be getting a uh, financial support of uh, Five thousand rupees per month, which and this is only for two months. Okay, this is an internship program only for two months. And uh, what you need to do to apply for this is that you need to write an email uh, with the subject of student internship uh, to the principal investigator or the professor who is doing research. So in this case, it is uh, Dr. Raj Kumar Roy, um, and this is the email ID to which you have to send the application. And in this application, you have to send your resume and a letter of motivation. Okay, so I have made a video on both of them. that how you need to you know make a letter of motivation and how you need to make a resume okay so you i i'll try and give you the links uh, over here somewhere if i'm not able to if you just uh, search uh, you know um, how to make a cv and just type gate chemistry in the uh, youtube search bar or uh, how to write a statement of purpose you will you will get the link okay statement of purpose by gate chemistry if you if you type on the search bar you will get the um you get the videos okay so i guess they should be he helpful and this you need to apply by 10th of august 2021 right so what exactly do you need for this you need a decent academic record okay and you should be pursuing your masters in chemistry and apart from that you should have some interest in you know polymer or material chemistry uh, for this particular position so when you are writing this letter of motivation or your statement of purpose which is around one or two pages over there you need to mention that why you are interested in pursuing research um in this particular field and uh, whether you have some interest in polymers and material chemistry right so that is something that you need to mention so that is one particular position and this was posted as you can see yesterday itself that is 30th july 2021 um then there are other positions as well so for this position as you can see uh, again you know this is for biophysical chemistry like you should have uh, interest in uh, biophysical chemistry it's not a essential criteria but it's a desirable criteria that you should have interest in biophysical chemistry and over here even bsc students can apply so i think this is a wonderful opportunity and you should definitely um take that into consideration over here also the the application proce procedure is same that you need to send a resume and letter of motivation by 6th of august um to this particular email id okay it's the the principal investigator that is dr uh, subhaprata maithi right and over here you if you are in bachelor's also you can apply and this is the topic for the uh, project that you might be working on stipend is same only 5000 per month okay uh, this is being funded by so uh, anyway so uh, this was one more uh, position and this was posted on 26 july and then we have another third position as you can see over here uh, for this you need some interest like desirable criteria is that you should have some interest in organic or material chemistry 
same thing you have to apply this uh, by 10th of april 2021 to the principal investigator in this case it is uh, dr santanu kumar pal and this is the um, email id to which you need to apply same thing with the resume and letter of motivation now if you are applying for all three positions make sure your letter of motivation is different because in one case um they have mentioned that in the desirable criteria you should have interest in organic like in this case in one case they had written polymer or material chemistry and in the third one biophysical chemistry so if you are applying for the all the three positions then make sure uh, that you have uh, you know changed the letter of motivation according to the uh, research topic or according to the position that you are applying for okay and one more thing that i would want to mention is that um if you have any seniors or any phd students in Uh, in their lab, in the lab of the principal investigators, um, or if you have your professors who who are in touch with one of these principal investigators, um, do mention it to them that you are applying for this position and request them that if they can talk to the principal investigator that you are applying for the position. Okay, so it's not like um, you will bypass all the criteria; you will still have to give the interview. But yes, when someone known recommends your name. then what happens is at least you might get an opportunity to give the interview and if you do the interview well um you might get this position so always recommendations work so try and find if you can see or you can have any contacts um who can recommend your name um to one of these professors it could be phd students in their lab or it could be one of your professors who are in touch with uh, one of the principal investigators okay so that will really work out for you anyway um i hope you found this video helpful if you did please like this video and subscribe to the channel and in case you found this video not really helpful for you maybe you have already completed your masters um do share it with someone some of your juniors who are still pursuing their masters or bachelors because as you can see from the project title um it is a social responsibility to give uh, you know opportunity or to uh, you know inform them about the opportunities um that are available for the bsc and msc students because um that is how you know they'll get a research exposure at a very young uh, age and they would know very clearly whether they do want to pursue research in the future or not so so it would definitely be a very useful thing and uh, yeah so that's about it again thank you for watching the video i will see you next time really soon hey guys so i am a verified educator on an academy and along with that i am also available on the unacademy plus platform where i am taking live classes along with other educators So in case you are interested in attending the live classes you can subscribe to the unacademy plus platform using my referral code that is SETHI SETI and that will give you 10% discount all right and in case you are not interested in attending the live classes you can watch the free courses that are available on the unacademy for that all you need to do is go to the unacademy website or download the unacademy learning app and search my name over there that is ACT Once you do that you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the unacademy platform all right